Okay, I'm going to show you how to uh, make the sauce for ribs, okay? Uh, after you boil your ribs uh, for an hour at, at low, which I already have, I'm going to turn this. Okay, here's your ribs. Here's the ribs. They look pretty doggone juicy. Okay, spare ribs, pork ribs. You take this, you take a pan, you put your oven on uh, 370, and uh, here's the uh, ingredients. Ketchup. Barbecue sauce, which uh, I don't think I know, hickory smoke, uh, honey, la choy, uh, light brown sugar, uh, of course I got, uh, uh, yeah, and uh, I forgot the uh, the mustard, I didn't set the mustard out, and you know, I got Bronco Billy sauce and some uh, other sauce from Arby's I added, so anyway, now then, you turn your pan so you won't, uh, Make a big mess, okay? Now, you get you some tongs. Okay, you ready for tongs? The king of tongs. Okay. I got this knife in the way, so I'm just going to put the knife over in here for a minute. Hopefully, I won't mess around and cut that aluminum foil. But anyway, what I'm going to do is take each of these pieces, go across here, and drop them into the sauce. Kind of drain these a little bit. Now, that's two. We got just the perfect boil on these. And of course, I'm gonna I'm gonna use this to parboil uh, a bag of uh, these shrimp right here, and uh, it should turn out really good and tasty. Okay, we got onions over in here. Now, you want to turn these. Like this. Now you got all kinds of good sauce on there. So a lot of people turn them uh, one way. I turn them the other. So anyway, that way you got more room here. Let's see. Turn them, turn them, turn them, stir them. Stir them and turn them. Okay. Yeah, I like that Bronco Billy sauce they serve down there. Uh, it's some kind of berry sauce. Really kind of tasty stuff. Uh, uh, I think they uh, put it out there for, you know, chicken, something like that, you know. Anyway, fried uh, chicken cleavers or sleevers or whatever they call them. I still have never been over to get the, the famous uh, Popeye's uh, chicken sa uh, sandwich. I have uh, been down here to uh, Arby's and they have a spicy chicken sandwich. It's really pretty, pretty good. And... Um, been waiting for a long time. I've had some uh, gift cards to Arby's and I finally got some coupons. But you can go online if you want to and uh, sign up through your email and they will send you an email link and I think you can get uh, one sandwich for 50% off. Uh, somehow I got lucky and the lady uh, gave me a whole sandwich for free. Uh, I did that twice with two of my email accounts. But, at this point, I asked uh, Glow for uh, some coupons. She brought her coupons over from uh, her house, over wherever she lives, uh, off of Benton over there somewhere. Okay, now, if you can notice, we will have a whole slew of this sauce left over. So, you can do one or two things. You can either pour it on there, uh, pour it on in the middle, uh, of the cook or just use it as a dipping sauce but what I'll probably do is I'll go ahead and uh, do both you know I'll just leave a little bit I can't get these things turned over I'll probably leave a little bit for dipping sauce let's see if there's any more down in there I think there is yay yeah we've got we've got enough to feed a small uh, uh, small people not enough uh, for you know a big crowd but anyway I could have uh, bought another slab of these but like I said the shrimp I'm gonna get this to boiling again those shrimp were only uh, $12 a bag that's two pounds at six bucks a piece so anyway I thought that was pretty good Yep, the price of uh, everything has gone up immensely. Uh, brisket is just uh, 90 bucks, you know, for 
a big old slab. It's just unbelievable. And gas is just continually going up. But anyway, this is perfect. It's got parboil already in it. And I'm going to start boiling that. Now, with this last bit, here we go. Uh, you know, I'm not quite sure how we're going to stack these, but the closer they are, the juicier they'll be in the long run. So anyway, let's just go ahead and stack them on, on there. So, and that really doesn't leave a lot of sauce left, so I don't know about the dipping sauce thing. But anyway, let's do this right here. Let's go ahead and just pour that stuff right over the top of that. Yummy. Cowabunga is what they used to say. Okay. And I love this Victorian pattern, uh, Victoria Bill. Oh, it matches my kitchen. See the kitchen in here? Oh, anyway. Alrighty, folks. Now, I'm going to have to pull some aluminum pole out of the... You know, we recycle our aluminum pole here. Uh, and really, you don't really need a lot uh, to protect the food, but... This is what happens. We, we've got too much stuff stuck down in the drawer here. And you might get uh, get your finger cut or something, you know. That's, that's the only drawer that actually closes by itself here in this house. So. All right. So, kind of lay that piece there. All right. Clean that knife off. I've had some honey in the, underneath the cabinet now for like two or three years. It's... I didn't pay much for it. Uh, I can't remember where it came from, but it was uh, it came from Walgreens. I know that. But anyway, oh, uh, like I said, I didn't really pay a lot for it. Okay, folks. Now, let's see if I can do this with one hand. All right, we're ready. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. We always like to say one, two, three. One, two, three around here. So anyway, here it goes. Slam it in there, and we'll let you know how it turns out. I don't know, uh, probably uh, 35 minutes. I'm not quite sure, but uh, we'll let you, we'll let you know. See you in the funny papers. Oven light. There we go. <laughs> 